It's a beautiful late winter day on Thunder Lake, about an hour and a half northwest of Edmonton. Over 50 post-secondary healthcare students are here to discover what it's like to live and work in rural Alberta. Some are experiencing a rural community for the first time ever. I've never been to a rural place before this. And if they like it, they apply for jobs and they come back here. Rita and her group did a lot of work to make this RPAP-sponsored Skills Weekend happen. And she hopes some of the students will truly fall for Barhead. <laughs> We're really quite excited to have you guys here. I've the students arrive at the Barhead Healthcare Centre for Skills Day. Inside, a chance to get hands-on experience at six different skill stations with instruction from local health professionals. The students come from a variety of disciplines, so for many, it's the first time they've ever tried these skills. You know, they've never done it before. The first one or two is always a little awkward, but they pick it up quickly. Uh, lots of smiles, lots of laughter, lots of questions. They're very engaged. I think that they're having a great time. I'm having a great time, so how can they not? <laughs> I loved it. Everything was so unique and especially if it's not always in your scope of practice, it's really unique to kind of try those skills out. I think this is the first year that pharmacy had the opportunity to come out to do one of these and I think it was a great, great learning experience. It was a very full, very exciting day. I loved it. <laughs> Down a little bit. So like I say, the writing needs to be clear. Along with the instructing, comes the opportunity to share why one enjoys practicing here. You get that diversity with the emergency room, so you still get to do some procedural medicine, you still look after inpatients, I assist in the OR, so your day is not always the same. So that nurses, when they care for people here, they really truly care for the person because they know them, they're their neighbors, they live here, they've delivered their babies. I can't think of being anywhere else but Barhead because it's really truly part of the literal fiber of my being. In the evening, the students were guests of honor at a community dinner that featured the local band, Blind Dog Revival. Over the years, the definition of rural has changed. One of the best definitions I ever heard, it's where FM radio starts to get kind of fuzzy. <laughs> Sunday morning, a beautiful breakfast at DeHert Gardens, a popular garden center in Barhead. Next, the students toured long-term care facilities to see what other employment opportunities exist in this community. Then, out to Thunder Lake. One of the bonuses for the students at a skills weekend is the opportunity to network with students from other health disciplines. And what's more fun than doing that than on snowshoes? I'm just really thrilled. We've had a really good weekend. Rita has some advice for other attraction and retention committees in rural Alberta. My advice is to absolutely do a skills day. The opportunity to bring young enthusiastic students out and showcase your community. And sometimes we think we don't have anything special, but when we start to look, we really do have some really neat, interesting things.